The sudden rise of Lacey. Oh, shit. Chat, are you excited? Get your popcorn. Oh, shit. I got my first ever documentary, bruh. Recently gone viral, but how did he make Lacey has recently gone viral, but how did he manage to go from a broke college student to one of the biggest streamers in the entire world in the matter of a single year, hanging out with the likes of Aiden Ross, Ty Sinat, Jinxie, and Clicks? W Glaze! Did he sell his soul for the fame? I'm doing a ritual. No, I did not. Before you guys say yes in the chat, no, I did not sell. I want to make this very clear. I didn't and look at you guys writing saying yes. I want to make this very clear. I did not sell my soul, bro. I did not sell my soul. I would never do that, okay? What the f Lacey literally sold his soul, bro. Well, in order to find out how he became so successful later in his career. Oh my god! Look at this graph, chat! Oh my god! Wait, Chad, to be honest, did I have the biggest come up? Did I have the biggest come up of the year? I feel like I'm like like Derek Rose in his rookie season, bro. Holy shit. Back to his beginnings online. Oh where shit! At only the age of 17, in June of 2020, he would post his first YouTube video that would show off his early skill on Fortnite. Yeah! And this video would gain little traction, but huh? he decided to continue creating Fortnite highlights and montages. Look at me, chat! I was grinding three, four years ago, getting 700 views a video. That's how you guys know you can do it too, bro. I was getting 400 views a video, bro. On YouTube for the time being, he would also stream for the first. Chat, if I was a stock, would you guys invest in me? First time ever on May 26th of 20. Facts. This, however, would end up being the start of a quite sporadic streaming schedule yep. over the next sporadic. few weeks, as Lacey would only go live 38 times in 2021. Oh, pre L grinder, pre L part timer. Here we go, bro. Oh hell no. L grinder, part timer, lazy. Hey guys, I wasn't gonna stream every day while in college working two jobs to 10 viewers, bro time being he would also stream for the first time ever on may 26th of 2020 this L however would end up being the start of a quite sporadic streaming schedule Over it's actually a good video weeks, so far as lacy would only go live 38 times in 2021 averaging around five viewers throughout this time now this story is probably i i streamed 38 times averaging five viewers on god that's actually inspirational as fuck bro starting to sound quite slow and it begs the question of how exactly did Lacey eventually get so many I grinded connections oh well to start Lacey would also be getting into competitive Fortnite yeah tested the waters with social medias and heading into 2022 Lacey would begin to compete placing 297th in his first tournament ever this did bro just show one of my hype cut placements oh hell no placement was only the start as he would continue to compete throughout the season placing within the top 100 25 times damn oh my wait i'm actually him i was actually him bro placing in the top 125 times on got i was a pro before i even started streaming and even getting a third place in an fncs qualifier yeah now on top of this lacy would also get his first earnings in an elite cup yeah and throughout 2022 lacy would also begin to stay consistent his YouTube videos. Uh -huh. He would also begin to views, see more views were going up, chat. Begin to see growth, but in Lacey's last month of 2021, he would average only eight viewers. But bro, I thought you were gonna glaze me. Why are you in? Why are you insulting me, bro? Okay, yeah, bro. Put your LMAOs in the chat, bro. So what? I was averaging eight viewers, bro. So what, bro? I was averaging eight viewers for two years. Put your fucking shit in the chat, bro. Don't care. Only went up three viewers. But stark in contrast, in December of 2022, he would be averaging roughly 80 viewers. Yeah! I think that this large growth across social media can be linked to his rise in the competitive Fortnite. Facts! That's what it was! Because I, be, I was becoming a pro. Facts! Media. That's what it was! But in reality, possibly the most important day in Lacey's career, or even life, had just happened on December 18th. And since there's little to no information on what exactly happened, I had to dig deep, scrolling for hours through posts during this time, until I got in contact with one of Lacey's close friends and business partners. Huh. So, big ups to him for this. Oh, hell no! Ain't no way you did! Oh, hell no, bro! And he promote his shit? Yo, can a mod activate the fuck Drew Wall channel point? Can a mod activate the fuck Drew Wall channel point? And I bet, I bet Drew talked shit about me too. I bet Drew fucking glazed the fuck. He, he fucking rode my dick. Probably told him all this fake shit too. I guarantee it, bro. Huh. But anyways, on this day, Lacey decided to donate hundreds of dollars to Clicks 
using the TTS to trash talk him. And after a while of Lacey getting in Clix's head, Clix had had enough, and he would end up calling Lacey on Discord. What's good, pussy? Yo, Lacey, bro. Fuck you, bitch. Yo, are you being dead ass right now, Lacey? Fuck you. Wait, how old are you, bro? Yo, I was chat on God. I was I was shaking. I was so nervous. On God, I was. I remember this, bro. Yeah, I'm 19. Jamming piece of shit. Oh my god, god, I was so nervous. I wish I'd see you IRL because you know what I would do? Well, let me know what you would do, bro. <laughs> I would, I would walk you, right? I'd I'm you cringing! I would curse off you in GTA, bro. You're my good little I'm bitch. I'm not your good little bitch. Stop with that. All you have on me is I got cheated on, bro. Yeah, I got you got cheated on three times. I'm not going to sit here talking to a 17-year-old day day. So you enjoy your day. You're a piece of shit. And we'll be in touch. After arguing for a little while, Lacey had left the call, but Click and his chat thought that Lacey was absolutely hilarious. So yeah! little did they know, this would be the start of one of the- Chat, that's- I want you guys to know that's not what made me. What actually made me was me grinding streams every single day. What actually realistically really made me was- What really made me was me actually just streaming a lot. Cat. Bro, that did not make eight viewers before this mute up. Biggest streamers in the world, and a great friendship between him and Clix. And in the following weeks, Lacey would continue to stream, but to an outsider, Lacey's growth just seemed like a result of consistency. Yup! But it was truly because of this connection with Clix. Yo! Yo, what the f- Yo, fuck you, dude! And fuck your shitty ass video, bro! Bro's been insulting me the whole time! And because Clix liked Lacey, he would continue to have him on the streams quite frequently, which in turn continued and look at the to the chat, help Lacey Now, on to top of this, as Clix got to know Lacey more and more, he learned that Lacey was living in a college dorm, and facts. he couldn't really be loud because of this. True. And this obviously was a huge hindrance to his ability to stream. Yep. So, since the Fortnite servers had recently moved to Texas, Clix convinced Lacey to move there with him. And it's okay. super crazy to think about the amount of confidence Lacey had in himself during this time because he had just dropped out of college to take a chance on content. So for a few months, Lacey would live in the- See, that's something that y'all- that's something that you guys- you guys really don't really appreciate. That's something that you guys really don't appreciate about everything that happened. That's something that you guys really don't understand is the balls that it took to drop out of college and move states. And, to, and the confidence in myself to do that, bro. Um, that's what you guys don't really get. You guys don't really get that. I, be I truly believed in myself, bro. I truly believed in myself. I dropped out of college, bro. <laughs> a less than ideal apartment. But at least yep. now he was able to be louder and not have to contain himself as much. Facts. And as Lacey and Clix continued to become great friends, Lacey would soon move into the same building as Clix. Okay, he's got the story right. Around this time, Yo, if you put the yappy mo, you're getting banned. I don't care. He would begin to appear in person with Clix quite frequently on stream. Now, Clix would begin to have a segment on his streams where he would spin a wheel, and you would have to do the activity that the wheel landed on. So, this was a great way for Lacey to be seen by a wide ew. audience. Ew! How are you guys saying ew? The to love him for his hilarious moments on and off Clix's stream. Hey! Hop off my I'm trying to McDonald's! Wait, Chad, is this my most viral clip? A large high C. Is this my most viral clip? Uh, two double cheeseburgers. Okay, I can help. Yes. Yep, a 20-piece nugget. What's in the Celery! Can he ever do anything right? <sighs> oh my god, those burgers were so good, chat. I can just sit here and imagine taking a bite of a Whataburger right now. Oh my god. That no go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No, on God, I, I don't even remember this clip, but I, when I, just now, when I just heard that, I thought that was going somewhere else. I'm sorry. <laughs> Over the next five months, Lacey would continue to grow, and in May of 2023, Lacey would average roughly a thousand viewers. This was a huge milestone in his career. Damn! It's truly crazy. 10 viewers the year prior to a thousand and still this would only foreshadow his future but anyways eight viewers to a thousand wow bro it took me three months to go from eight viewers to a thousand bro as Lacey would continue to grind all of his socials would continue to grow why did you put that 
Oh, hell no. You're a fucked up human being. Why did you put this clip in the video, bro? Fortnite tournament placements. As he would also begin to duel with Jivy in May. And throughout w summer, they would earn on multiple occasions. And because of this, his viewers okay. now not only recognized him as an entertaining streamer, but also a semi-pro in Fortnite. Oh, and shit! Chad, is that facts? Y'all recognize me as a semi-pro? <laughs> viewers and his association with clicks helped him to establish quite the large audience that only expanded when in June and July. July, his YouTube would begin to pick up significant traction. Okay! Now, his traction came largely Wait, this is actually a good documentary, chat. On, on Twitch, which basically means that the stream- Bro, I did not get carried by a subathon, bro. Wait, chat, did the subathon carry my- Did the subathon carry my career? Streamer will stay live as long as people keep subscribing to them. So, yes, Lacey would be did. live for 14 days straight, and he would have tons of donations. But one specific- Oh my god, I miss my hair. Donator would send $2,500 and demand Lacey to shave his head and eyebrows. Now, since this was a lot of money- Why does he keep bringing up all the shitty shit that happened? Lacey would do it, but unbeknownst to him, the donator would simply- Stop saying ew. Simply refund the money, leaving Lacey looking questionable, to say the least. They're not and barnacles! The figures, especially on Twitter, hmm. would make tweets to bring awareness to this with Jake Lucky being the most notable. He ended up charging back all $2,500 that he sent me, and this led to people like Jake Lucky and Dick Serto picking up the story- Chat, realistically, what guns. carried my career? W Jake Sucky, bro! He tweeted! Besides this tragic event, he would have lots of other Clicks. great moments on the stream, and he would end up making a video about the stream, which racked up over 200,000 views on his YouTube channel. Yep. Now, this video oh, began to show him just how important YouTube truly was, and he would figure out a formula for his videos that would help him <laughs> produce many videos with hundreds of thousands of views w while Ridge. still staying consistent with his streams. Now, during Why do time, I look like a girl? ...many connections with many other popular Fortnite YouTubers and creators... How is that rage zesty? Cypher PK being the most notable from this time period. Now, for the most part, Lacey would just continue to grind out his social medias, and it was paying off, especially okay. on his Twitch because he would now be averaging over 2,500 viewers in November. And as he continued yeah, to dial- Chad, that's what I mean, bro. I was averaging, you guys realize it, it took me, it took me, it took me like eight months to go from 80 viewers to 2,500, bro. That just shows I put the grind and the time in, bro. Realistically, I mean myself. ...with clicks. And since the two were growing so rapidly and having crazy issues with fans finding their living location, they would decide to move in together and relocate. So, December of 2023 would truly be the point in which Lacey would build the foundation for his upcoming success. And to kick off the new year, Lacey would post a video where he 1v1 Jinxie, and yeah! of course he streamed this as well. Now, this would be the first of his big connections, and he wouldn't stop here, because he would also do an e-date with a close- You can thank us for putting you there, lil bro? You guys didn't do shit, bro! I literally made you! I'm your owner! Close friend, and this would pick Close up some serious friend. traction. Okay. And because he saw the success in this stream, he would keep e dates as an idea yep. in the back of his mind. And this is quite important to remember because Why? this would also be the point at which Lacey, for the most part, had stopped posting Fortnite videos and he had begun to transition to more IRL types of streams. Because after a few more streams in his home in Dallas that involved his viewers in challenges or e dates, he would take a trip to LA with Clips. Chad, do you guys think Jenna actually liked me or was she just. And Ron, did she just we like had the also stream? become very close friends with now, together they would have some entertaining IRL streams. And since Ron was no, partnered with just a at the cloud. time, he was able to okay, get them access Darla to Okay, does Darla actually like me or no? In the phase warehouse, which gave their stream a super high quality. Now, Lacey saw this opportunity and no. he seized it because he would host a blind date that would average over 12,000 viewers. Okay. And he would also do a stream. No, I'm going to say it right now. The LA trip carried my career. Believe it or not, the LA trip is really what made my career with his blind date winner, where he would be coached by clicks, and this would average over no, 15,000 yes, live viewers. Then, when he went back to Dallas, he would keep on the pressure. Wait, I did that? I don't even remember doing that. That is not harass- By hosting an e-date with Jinxie, 
which brought in over 23,000 live viewers. Now, uh -huh. this would be around the point where he realized that many people liked him more for his personality than his gaming skills. FACTS! So, he would continue to reach out to other popular figures. But because he had his roots in Fortnite, FNCS Grand Finals was coming up shortly. So, he'd only spend a few weeks streaming and po- Chad, that I sell by having that huge peak in content and then going back to play FNCS? I feel like I sold. Posting Fortnite videos. But this only confirmed what he already thought because his viewers were lower than his IRL streams. Yup. So this gave him all the confirmation he needed. And What, is this guy like, no inside my mind? He would land an e-date with Kai Sinat. And yep. this e-date would bring in over 20,000 If it ain't viewers. snowing, this would help I ain't even going. More viewers to him. Then something totally unexpected would happen. When Aiden Ross talked about Lacey. Yo, I don't make, oh, thank you so much for the five gifted. I want to suck that dick. <laughs> on his stream and connected with Lacey. Now, Aiden Ross, if you don't know, is one of the biggest streamers of all time. And Facts. he's also managed to create his own empire. Yep. And he basically invited Lacey in. He saw the potential in Lacey, and Lacey absolutely jumped on this opportunity. Because on the I 6th of March, Lacey would fly right down to Miami. Which That's is where not Ross why I went to Miami. Okay, I can't, bro. Um, Ross is located. And in Aiden Miami, made you. He would first connect with an up-and-coming hip-hop artist and freestyler named Save AJ. This stream would have over 10,000 live viewers. That was and a solid over the stream. the next few days, Lacey would stream from Aiden's warehouse yeah. and appear on his streams quite frequently. With all of these streams- What are you- I went on his stream once! Oh, hell no, bro! ...having at least 8,000 viewers. And from here, he would connect with Darla Claire, who- Same hoodie? ...who rose in popularity two years ago at- same hoodie. <laughs> Chat, these are all different things. I, I don't Mike Zero with another five gifted. Come bring me that booty hole and let me lick it clean. <laughs> what, I'm a grown man, bro. What pants do you have on? Uh, just uh, like gray sweatpants, gray sweatpants. With the hands of clicks. And if you know how all that went down, you know. But anyways, Lacey would do- Chat, it's not dirty. I literally did laundry today, you fucking twats. Multiple streams with her. All of which pulling in over 15,000 viewers. Uh -huh. And this move of streaming with Darla was perfect because it yeah. helped to bridge his old Fortnite audience with, with his my new one. Yeah. IRL Wait, this guy knows. This guy knows my fucking. Oh shit! This guy knows my mindset, bro. So when he saw the success with Darla, he would continue to include her in his streams. And after a few dates and cooking streams with her, clicks would end up coming down to Miami, where they would mess around and attempt to. Is that Taco Bell? in his streams and after a few dates and cooking streams with her clicks would end up coming down to miami where they would mess around and attempt a camping stream mm -hmm. however they realized they could do the camping idea much better so as they prepped that idea in the background bro Lacey this house was such a vibe bro would do a 2v2 cooking stream with darla against clicks and sadie mckenna who's a very popular tiktok creator right now now this stream would pull in over 50,000 live viewers and this absurd rise that we really ran that shit Lacey had just gone on had been unprecedented and many people had begun to talk about it and personally Darla made you I feel like I'm watching Aiden Ross's blow up again but this time obviously it's Lacey facts why are you guys saying cap And many people had begun to talk about it. And personally, I feel like I'm watching Aiden Ross's blow up again. But this time, obviously, it's Lacey. Facts! And it's truly crazy to see how quickly he's rising. And I thought he might have been slowing down. Pay but him then to say he that. would do a 24-hour camping stream with clicks. Uh-huh. This could have possibly been the best thing to do in his situation at this moment in his career. Because really? just spending time on stream is all his viewers wanted and all- Wait, Chad, is that all you guys want? You guys just want me to spend time on stream? Is that all you guys want? Is that all you guys want? Yes? Oh. He really needed to keep progressing. So, Clicks and Lacey would basically mess around the whole stream, entertaining over 40,000 viewers for almost a whole day. Now, unfortunately, they would end up cutting the stream short when Lacey badly injured his knee. So, hopefully, that will all heal quickly. But, just looking back and thinking about each step that Lacey took, why am I standing like, oh, hell no. Is this actually how I stand? To get to the top is... Oh my god, why am I doing it like that? 
quickly, but just looking back and thinking about each step that- It's not zesty! Lacey took to get to the top <laughs> is kind of wild, because he made the right move every time. Now, the speed at which he surpassed streamers around him is crazy, and the fact that he's been able to build connections with almost the entire social media industry is truly remarkable. Really? And for any other streamers trying their best to pop off right now, honestly, just reflecting on Lacey's route to the top is probably the best thing for learning how to leverage connections and make the best content possible. But anyways, from where Lacey is now, it's hard to say where he will go. I like this guy. I like him. He's glazing me. Build connections it. with almost the entire so viewers for almost a whole day. Now, unfortunately, I like this guy, Chad. He's glazing me. When Lacey badly injured his knee. So Bro. hopefully, that why do you have to put quickly. that in there? But just looking back and thinking about each step that Lacey took to get to the top is kind of wild because uh -huh. he made the right move every time. Now, that's something that you guys don't understand. This is something that people genuinely don't realize. Every single thing I've done and every single thing I do and every single thing I will do is fucking calculated. It's calculated. If I decide to do some type of content, I know why I'm doing it then, why I'm doing it at that time, when I'm doing it, how I'm going to do it, bro. Everything is calculated, bro. The, the, you have to understand, streaming has an algorithm just like YouTube has an algorithm, bro. If some, if so, if you know something's gonna happen or a trend's gonna start or something with trend, you have to pivot and you have to change your content, bro. And that's a, one thing about streaming that people don't understand is that you really have to you really have to pivot and you really have to calculate every move, bro. And you guys are spamming the yap emote. Nah, cause you know what? Go ahead and spam the yap emote, cause I'm gonna keep talking. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, cause there's some people in the chat right now who want to get into content, and they can't do it. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how it is. Okay? I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how it is. Listen, straight up. Um, you gotta understand, bro. You think you, I could have done what I wanted to do, and I could have jumped into IRL content two months ago, but I didn't, cause I knew it wouldn't work. I knew it wouldn't have worked. I knew that I had to slowly build my way up do a couple IRL streams, then go back to Fortnite, keep the audience, get the new audience. I knew that I had to slowly do an IRL stream here, IRL stream there, an E-date here, E-date there, slowly shift my content from Fortnite to IRL, then I can make the big jump like I did. It's all calculated, bro. Yo, stop putting that fucking emo every time I talk, dude. Stop doing that shit. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna let it rip. The speed at which he surpassed streamers around him is crazy, and the fact that he's been able to build <laughs> connections- Chad, what are you guys- <laughs> Almost the entire social media industry is truly remarkable. And for any other streamers trying their best to pop off right now, honestly, just reflecting on Lacey's route to the top is yep. probably the best thing for- You heard it here first, Chad. If you're, if you're a guy that's trying to- if you're, if you're somebody that's trying to become a streamer, all you have to do is just do what I did and reflect. Learning okay. how to leverage connections. Yo, don't Mike. Thanks for the 200 bits. So ungrateful. Wait, what happened? Oh, he gifted another five subs. Oh my God. Oh my God. My sweet little pussy. Don't Mike. Oh my God. You're juicing my little pussy. You're fingering it. I'm going to squirt. <laughs> and make the best content possible. What if I don't have 2.5K to donate to clicks? Um, first of all, it was 700. Second of all, there's other ways. There's other ways. Think about it, chat. You guys know that guy from Clix's community? What's his name? The Ivan kid? The fucking kid who looks like he has autism? And he's, yeah, he, he's, he's, he has, it's okay. It's okay. I, I know if, I love people. Ivan, I just want to say, bro, um, I have a cousin with Down syndrome, you know? I do have a cousin with Down syndrome, so nothing against you. I love Down syndrome people. Um, it's okay that you have Down syndrome, okay? Um, but I just want to say, there's multiple ways to do it. Ivan... Shit talked in the community. He got a chance to go on Clix's stream and talk shit and get a career just like I did. And he folded like a little bitch. He folded like a lawn chair. He sold. There's other ways to do it, bro. But anyways, from where Lacey is now, it's hard to say where he will go and what exactly he will do. However, mm. we do know that he's going to be buying a house in Miami yep. where Ron, Jason, and Clix will yep. be moving in to make content together. Did and I just I come? See this content house taking over the streaming space chat like, could you see this content house taking and over the streaming like space yes or no streaming takeover you can see how others did the exact same right here on god that's actually a good video